uh, to Steen got back to the um, to the ring, and Steen came out. Um, he they was they knocked him down. He kicked out, and the young bucks tried to go grab the, one of the belts. However, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat he was there. He took the belt from from one of the brothers, and he had a, you know Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. He did one of his you know five moves one of his five moves back in the day mm-hmm. but you know the young bucks they had kicked him out rick flair tried to get in the ring and try to um you yeah, know rick flair was there last night he was trying to protect steam from getting hurt his whole ass. Oh, and they kicked they super kicked rick flair and i'm like why is this man this man almost 80 years old still taking <laughs> rick, rick, rick flair you know what? Like, but whatever i'm like okay this is this is like get out of hand or whatever and steam that they threw they put steam through a table he didn't sell it he got up you remember how the old steam was you know he got that comeback like uh-huh. with chess and um darby out you know they put him out a few times he kicked out he had a he kicked out and then he kicked out a one a one count so Darby Allen came in the ring and uh, pretty much evened up the score. He did his last move, you know, skip Scorpion Death Drop and the Scorpion Death Lock, and that they retained their titles. Um, at the end of the show, he had a heartful speech of his family, and this is where the legacy goes in. At. Um, AEW they did right by Sting, let him go out on his own terms. Uh, they didn't. He was there to put over talent. But they didn't. They also protected him. They didn't bury him. All right. Now we remember, and you already know. Everybody who knows me, I'm a huge Dean fan. Remember when he came to WWE in 2014, 2015, and they didn't protect him at all. Like, they the man protect was all- him. They protect him. They just put him up against a reckless fool, and 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 and. His his character because he should have never lost against Triple H at WrestleMania. I mean, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 I get that, but again, he, he, he would have had a better chance if he didn't wrestle Seth Rollins. Like, yeah, 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 that's what I was about to get to. Having him fight, and I get it. They wanted him to have a title shot um, because the man has always been WCW for years and tna for those several years when he was there and he was the only wcw big talent that never signed at wwe at that time till that time came up and so they wanted him to get a title shot which he should have he should have been in the wwe really in when the company uh with wcw went under so um but that's the thing though like they AEW did right by Steam. WWE not so much. It was more back then is egos and what they wanted to do. Vince always wanted to bury WCW talent, and I just really don't understand why there were good wrestlers from WCW. Matter of fact, one of the people that helped him, you know, that saved his damn company, Stone Cold Steve Austin. People don't remember Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was stunning Steve in WCW. So like, oh, I'm like, there was nothing wrong with WCW stars, but Vince always felt like he had to bury them. So I'm just glad, you know, he went out because trust me, he after that Seth match, he had to retire. I was sad. And then I'm like, damn, we gonna never see this man again. But then late 2020, somebody my phone blowing up because you know I wasn't watching wrestling like that. Like, uh, Steen came back. Steen came back. Like. I trust me. I felt like a six-year-old kid again. I right, last night I felt like a six-year-old kid again as well. Like it's the end of the era. Like it's all the wrestlers that if you are a Gen Xer or early millennial, I don't know why people consider me a millennial, but whatever. Um, you know, you knew Sting. You knew the Undertaker. You knew Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan. You knew those wrestlers. All those wrestlers have retired. Some of them have passed away. But Sting was that last, that, that dying breed of wrestlers. All right? He stood the test of time. 
you know, retiring at 64. Hopefully he stays retired. We know a lot of wrestlers, they say they retired, and a couple of years later, they show up on another TV screen. But he had a good career. Um, like I say he's one of my he's one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And I know people gonna say about the Undertaker or Hulk Hogan or Ric Flair. You know, Steen was my guy. Steen was my guy the entire time. So, congrats on your retirement. And you know, may end up seeing his son in the ring soon. Like, dude, literally built like him and was out there doing stinger splashes last night. Now I say you got to go watch the match. And I know I probably spoiled it for some people that just watched. They're just watching the show, but I promise you, I didn't. I left out a lot of things that you just have to go see for yourself. Yeah, 